Blessings, everybody. I'm going to give you a few minutes to um, come on live. Tonight is, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Tonight is, tonight is the night that we do this Facebook Live, joint Facebook Live. Myself and Prophet Sean Morris, the great Prophet Sean Morris, will be joining me. And we will be talking tonight about the upcoming glory gathering that is coming up 2018. I'm very, 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 very excited about it. Do me a favor. Let's share this. Um, let's get this word out. I'm going to bring on Prophet Morris in just a few seconds, and um, uh, we are going to um, uh, get this party started. So I see Prophet Morris just joined. Let's see if we can get him on split screen here. This is going to be uh, quite awesome, quite awesome. So let's 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 do this really quick. God bless you, Prophet. I am bringing you on now. Y'all share this video. Let's get on. Let's get on. Y'all share this. Prophet. How you doing, man of God? I'm good, sir. How are you? Let me turn up my volume here so I can hear you. It's so good to see you. How is it? I think you are you just finished a great meeting uh, in, in Virginia, and so yes, you are uh, in vacation mode right now. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I'm still in vacation mode down here with my spiritual children. They have yes. been a blessing to me, man. Uh, we're having a good time in the VA. The glory of God has hit the place, man. Uh, miracle signs and wonders, uh, money miracles manifesting in people's bank accounts. Uh, it, it has been phenomenal, man. The prophetic, accurate prophetic words that have came to pass the very next day. Um, you know, and just, uh, you know, just a, a deliverance glory. Uh, 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 we have seen legs grow out and things of that nature. Uh, it just it just been a powerful meeting. Uh, my spiritual sons and daughters moved in the glory of God. Uh, lumps dissolve. Uh, 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 people who had tumor lumps it dissolved. Uh, just just a host of different miracles that God has done. And you know, and uh, we've been seeing you know the angel feathers uh, manifesting yes. our rooms and stuff like that. Uh, gold dust. People been getting abundance of gold dust. Uh, you know, appearing, you know, in their, in, in, you know, in their homes. And even people that's not in the meeting, just by watching the videos been received. Oh, wow. You know, wow. so it just, you know, when it's a sovereign realm of God's glory, it's just been phenomenal, man. I'm just, I'm excited about coming down there to the GA, man, to the case yes. with the pastor, man. And um, I've been hearing great things about you guys, man. I, and I know you guys also um, operate in the glory realm as well. And uh, we can't wait to come there to impart what the Lord has given us to you guys. Yes. And I know that yes. it's going to yes. definitely be a phenomenal meeting, man. I know it's going to be a phenomenal. Absolutely. Meeting. Yes, sir. Absolutely, Prophet. I'm I'm so, I'm so excited. You excuse me. I'm 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 sweating a little bit here. If you guys see me wiping my face, what hey. happened was I realized um, I hadn't um, gotten myself completely together, so I had to run all the way upstairs, run back downstairs, run back upstairs, run back down here, and, <laughs> and I was trying to. Be mindful with the time, Prophet Morris, because I didn't want you to think that I was unintegral. <laughs> no, no, you're good, man. Look, guess what? The best thing comes to those who wait, praise the Lord. Amen, I amen. People, anyway, I tell people all the time, you can't start without me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to receive it. They're going to receive it anyway, amen? Yes, yes, sir, yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. So for, yeah. for all of you all that are joining, uh, make sure you hit that share button. Uh, let's get this word out. Um, I, Prophet Morris and I are going to talk tonight about the Glory Gathering 2018. This is something that God put on my heart um, at our church. And just to kind of give you a little background of this, and then I'm going to bounce it off to Prophet Morris, and he's going to kind of talk. And, and I really, Prophet Morris, for the people that are just jumping, on, jumping back online, uh, I, if I would just indulge you just for a second to rehearse what you just told us about uh, about your your meeting in Virginia and the things that you saw in Virginia for the people that are coming on. But uh, so to kind of give you a little backdrop about Prophet Morris, I, I, um, I we, we got connected on Facebook. Uh, I want to say it was the latter part of last year. And yeah. what I appreciated most about him is this man of God has a phenomenal platform. He is all over the place ministering. Uh, it's one of the most highly anointed uh, people that walks in the glory of God that I've ever seen in my life. Um, and what I most respected about him was that not only was he anointed, but he was also approachable. And I think um, in a generation where people are more consumed with being powerful, but not being approachable uh, and not understanding that the gist of their ministry really lies in their approachability, 
not necessarily in how powerful they are. And so I really appreciated just how approachable he was. And he and I shared some dialogue on Facebook Messenger. And then I heard, of, I, I was reading somebody's testimony about this awesome book that he had written, How to Tap into the Glory of God. Um, Amen. And, and this woman of God was sharing her testimony about, I think she had a, a, a disfigured head uh, for years. And as she was yeah. reading this book, the glory of God literally transformed her head back to the normal shape. And when I saw yes, that, I remember that. When I, I saw remember. that prophet, I said, I've got to get my hands on that book. Now, I'm not a stranger to the supernatural. Uh, you know, we, we, yeah. we've seen countless healing, miracle signs and wonders up to this day. I mean, we've, we've seen well over, uh, counting almost 200 uh, just miracles, healing signs and wonders in the last two years. Um, and so, so one thing that we had not really tapped into heavily was the signs and wonders. And, and, I, and yeah. I knew God was leading me to that. Uh, he, he was really dealing with me in my spirit about signs and wonders. We, I mean, I could go down a list about the miracles and healings we've seen. It's been phenomenal. But I found myself saying, God, I know there's more to this. And uh, I'm fully prepared to walk this thing, uh, even if people say I'm strange. Prophet Morris, I know right. you can testify to that. Um, if people don't believe, it's really not about that. We, we just tap into this mantle that God has given us. And so I ordered this book, and I remember I, I took a screenshot of it, Prophet, and I sent it to you, and I said, Prophet Morris, your book just came to my house, and I'm getting excited. I'm, I'm ready to read it. And what he did not know, the Lord revealed it to him, <laughs> is that before I opened up that book, I said, Lord, all the signs and wonders and healing and miracles that are in this book, I want to see it in my own ministry, in my own life. Uh, I want to yeah. be able to see this supernatural realm. And without me sharing that with him, he, he messaged me back and he said, may all the signs and wonders, healing and miracles yeah. that are in that book be your portion. You remember that, Prophet Morris? Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. That was a prophetic It was amazing. Yes, it was amazing. It was amazing. And so I started reading this book. I, I, I was so hungry for it, guys. And I dug into this book. I read it. I read it. And I remember, uh, uh, and I mean, this is just the power of, of just impartation and the shareable grace. I yes. remember not long after that prophet, I had to preach for a pastor's anniversary, Pastor Cheryl Mentor, at Anointed Word Life Center in East Point, Georgia. It's right outside Atlanta. And one of my spiritual sons was there. Uh, the church was there. We were uh, you know, I, golly, man, I, meant, I ministered to so many people that day uh, prophesying and, and laying hands and all that. But there's one woman in particular who had a back ailment. I laid hands on her, and we believed God for the, for the miraculous that happened in her back. And the Lord instructed me to hit her back. And so I, I, I told her, I said, ma'am, I know you're in pain, but I, I'm, I'm going to hit your back, but, but God's going to do a miracle in it. And she said, okay, and I hit her. Not too hard, but I hit her. Boom. And I didn't know this, but one of my sons said, he said, Pastor, when you laid your hands on her, you hit her in the back, I saw gold dust fly out your hand. <laughs> and so, Prophet Morris, you know, at this point, I had gone back into the pastor's study at that church so I could change because my clothes were so drenched and wet and my T-shirt was soaking wet, my shirt was soaking wet. And so I said, well, okay, give me a second to change. I want to go back to the sanctuary and I want to see the spot where this gold dust hit because I'm getting ready to send Prophet Morris a testimony. And... Right. Um, so the moment I took my shirt off, Prophet, now, mind you, my shirt was drenched wet. The moment right. I pulled my shirt off, we all, there was about five or six of us, men of God in the room, and we all saw it. Gold dust flew in the air, landed on one of the chairs in the pastor's wow. study. Glory to God. And then, Come um, on now. <laughs> and then not long after that, the report of the people is that they found a trail of gold dust going down out the pastor's study, down the hallway where I had just walked from. And so we people were coming in, taking pictures. We, we put a video up. Uh, some people were trying to uh, pull it off the chairs and, and put it in their purses, you know, and everything. And one thing about it is that gold dust wouldn't come up off that chair. And, and from on, that now. moment on, that was the activation of my awareness into the signs and wonders. And, yeah. and, and so first of all, you know, I, I so thank God for you. I thank God for just your obedience, your testimony, how God just processed you through. I mean, from, from everything you've gone through to now being what I believe a general in the body of Christ, uh, uh, literally an emerging voice that is coming to position the body of Christ. And I can appreciate Amen. people like yourself that aren't convinced that this thing is just for you only so that you right. can be the next big thing. But literally, what I do know about Prophet Morris is that he believes in impartation. He believes in activation. He believes in the shareable grace. 
that God has given us. And so from that moment on, we've been seeing countless, I mean, even to this day, I got a testimony this morning of, uh, of a teenager at our church prophet. She woke up uh, this morning and there was a feather just resting on her chest. You Come know, on, no. I mean, yeah, I mean, we've been oh, seeing the feathers have been manifesting. I was in Chicago about a month or so ago, and literally, uh, Prophet Morris, I found angel feathers in, in in up there in Chicago where I was staying in the apartment where I was staying at. Four days out of the whole entire week, like literally every other morning, I would wake up there would be feathers, and and they would just manifest out of nowhere. And I mean, so we've seen the feathers, we've seen the gold dust. Um, uh, even answer prayers, Prophet Morris. We are you know, releasing prophetic words and they're coming to pass within the same hour or within the yes. same day or there the next go. day, you know? And so what I'm excited about this prophet Morris is that the glory gathering, I believe is going to literally be uh, glory to God, a momentum of activation, yes. not just demonstration, but literally those that are hungry, uh, 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 being activated to a certain place. And of course, we're going to make this thing annual. And I've just made it in my mind, sir, we're going to be bringing you in every year for this event. Uh, Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, Amen. And, um, we're going to we're going to be co-laboring with some uh, with some other significant people that are in the body of Christ in this time that are really operating in the signs and wonders, miracles, uh, healing, demonstration, prophet. We we have to demonstrate this thing. We, I mean, yes, we do. The people yes, have heard do. it preached for years, uh, but I'm finding that the people aren't just going to be held only by our sermons. They have to see what we're preaching. They've got to see this kingdom. So. With that being said, Prophet, I want to bounce it to you real quickly. And if you could okay. just take us back through uh, this phenomenal supernatural encounter that you've been seeing uh, uh, in your Virginia meeting that you're just coming out of. And then Amen. once you talk about that, I have a certain question that I want to ask you uh, once you wrap okay. that up and, and just see where the Lord leads with that. So if you would take it, Prophet Morris, at this time. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. Thank you so much, Pastor, for everything that you spoke. I really respect uh, and and, and in my, I remember when um, when you inboxed me about the, when the impartation and activation took place, and I was so proud to see that you know God is still doing a transfer anointing in this season to His people, yes, and that when you respect, I tell people all the time, you you can't respect. I'm gonna put it like this: you cannot ask for all from a vessel you don't respect. You wow, wow. Hold on, say that again, sir. Say that one more time. You say cannot that again. ask for oil from a vessel that you don't respect. And you cannot <laughs> ask for wine and don't like the wine skin. So Jeez. you need the vessel of God. The Bible said that we shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified and useful, and prepared for the master for every great work. So it's not just the, what's contained in the vessel, but the vessel itself is where the honor is. Yes, sir. Is where the sanctification is is where the usefulness is. So it's not just what's in the bottle, it's the bottle itself. Yes, sir. It's a yes, sir. Of contact. So a lot of people don't understand that special miracles were brought by the hands of Paul. If it wasn't a cloth that was anointed, it was a cloth when it touched Paul's body that made it anointed. Yeah, so yeah, it's through yeah. the vessel of God that you receive your point of contact from God. So a lot of people... Because of your high respect for our ministry and re respect and regard for the anointing upon our life, you you tap quickly. Yes, you sir. Tap yes, sir. Quickly yes, sir. Without yes, even sir. without even have to do too much stuff. Some people have to fast for it. Some people have to pray for it. Some people have to do this and that. But because of the honor system, this yes. you tap so quickly through the honor yes. system. So a, a lot of people be asking, "Well, Papa, how can you do this? How can you do that?" Honor. It's through honor. You know, the Bible speaks about that Joshua, uh, that Moses uh, put some of his honor upon Joshua. Woo! So when you see that in the, Bi in the Bible, it's through the yes, honor sir. system that you receive certain anointings. Absolutely. Most people, most people don't understand that. That's how you really tap. That's the anointed principle of God. So when we was in Virginia, I seen some of my spiritual sons and daughters who probably never never moved in prophetic, started prophesying accurately like I do, and started things that were coming to pass the very next day. Stuff that they forgot that took place started to come to pass. We seen legs grow. We seen people who were in wheelchairs that couldn't move their legs start moving their legs. People who were paralyzed or had strokes, they began to move. Uh, we saw healings at the altar. Uh, Prophet Jamel and Prophet Karen prayed for people and healings took place. Uh, Prophet Joanne prayed for this lady 
and I forgot to tell her that a lady inboxed me and said when she prayed, lumps started dissolving. Yeah. On yeah, her body. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so these things yeah. took place instantly. In the glory realm, there's no, the time frame or the time realm is removed. So wow. the time factor got removed. So yes. what would have yes. taken five years to take place? It took place in seconds. It took yeah, place yeah, in minutes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the elevation or the realm of speed takes place when you're in the glory realm. It doesn't take forever for things to manifest. So um, yeah, yeah. It, through the honor system of the vessels of God is how we tap into the realm of the spirit. And a lot of people Absolutely. don't understand that. They say, well, look, just give me, they want the message. They just don't like the messenger. Right, right, and see, right, and you can't, you can't have one without the other, sir. Let, let, prophet, let me, because it's, it's, it's an anointing on that, sir. Is it possible <laughs> for people to be under a covering or under a pastor or connected to a vessel, sow seeds of dishonor and private disrespect, mm -hmm. but are still expecting the mantle? And are not getting it because they're not using the honor system that you're referencing. Of course. I mean, we see this all through scripture. Whenever there's a dishonor, there's a disconnect. You cannot access any type of anointing without honor. Even when we came to Christ, we had to honor who he was in our life as Lord before he right. can Lord over our lives. Right, so right, most right. People, most people. Oh, you know, man. You didn't start feeling bad about your sin until you got connected to the sin remover. That's right. That's so right. It was, That's through, right. it was through honoring who he was in our life, not just looking at him as a prophet or a storybook or uh, 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 anything of that nature. And, and let, me, let me break it down like this. People can come to your meeting and experience the glory, mm -hmm. but not become a partaker of it. Mm -hmm. you Sir... The Bible said that, I'm going to put it like this. The Bible said the children of Israel, they, I'm paraphrasing, they under they got they got to receive the signs of God, but Moses had his ways. Yeah, 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 so you yeah. Can make, you can come to my meeting, you can experience the gold dust, you can you can uh, experience the manifestations, but that don't mean that you're going to be able to be a partaker of it. For example, I had a spiritual son, he came to our meeting, he started... I mean, he got back connected with us, and he started moving in signs, wonders, and miracles. He started moving in, in money miracles, and money started manifesting. And that happened this weekend in Virginia as well. But as soon as he disconnect, all of it dried up. Wow. Because wow. simple fact is, wow. he was connected, wow. but he wasn't in covenant. Oh, uh, yes, I sir. Can be, I can be connected to you. But because I'm not in covenant with you, like this phone can mess up and we can lose a connection. But when you have a covenant, it's an agreement. It's a contract. Right. It's binding. So it's That's very right. hard to really relinquish yourself from something like that. Yeah. yeah so yeah, a lot of people yeah. want to be connected. For example, a person in a coma is the most connected person in a hospital, but he's dead. I'm going to say I that again. You. I hear you. The yes, person sir. in the yes, coma sir. is the most connected. He's connected to all the IVs. He's connected to the oxygen tank. He's connected to the brain wave, the brain, uh, brain wave scan. He's very connected. He's the most connected person in the hospital, but he's the most dead person in the hospital. So it's not about your connections. It's about your covenant that you have. Ah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. when you have covenant, it's different. You have a different access code than somebody that just have a phone number or somebody right. that just have, you know, many people have the 281 number from Sean Mars, but not everybody have my 504 number. Right. I hear so you. So you can call my you. ministry. You can, you can talk to the secretary. You might even catch me one day, but you're not going to have the personal <laughs> access. You're not going to have the personal access to Sean the person. Right, right, you're right, right. Have right access right. to Sean the presence. See, a lot of people want the presence. The presence, but, but they don't want that the can be extracted if I remove myself. Mm -hmm. But if you're not connected to the person of the presence, then you will not always have that presence with you. Hold on, hold on, Prophet. Hold on, because you, you you really about to, I'm about to run out my house. 
<laughs> I'm about to really run out my house. I, I, I want you to, I really, see, this is just, I want you to, I want you to stay there because um, I think this generation that, that is coming, it, it, it's, it's, you have a generation of seekers. I do believe that. You have a generation yeah. uh, of, of followers. I do believe that. But there, there is a generation that has yet to recover and refuse to be healed from church hurt. And yeah. so they come off this ideology of, I don't have to follow a person. I follow God. And, right. uh, and, and what I'm finding is that even prophet in the non-denominational church, those that are operating off this mindset, even though we're quote unquote non-denominational, we are yet religious. We're recreating yes, we a religious world and we are, we are paralyzing the power of the prophetic flow and the miraculous. So, so with that, what what what, you, what would you say is a solution? I mean, just for a few seconds before we get down to the next topic. But what would you say would be a solution? Number one, for 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 those people that are blinded. I mean, honestly, to the truth that that are blinded to the truth of the need of a mentor, the need of a spiritual father, the need of a spiritual mother. Okay, uh, because every movement starts with a moment, and that moment is encapsulated in the person. The person is pregnant with the moment and bursts the moment into a movement. And Come so, on. with understanding that. What would you say, number one, to those people that are blinded? And then number two, and I think this is where we get tripped up, Prophet, to the sincere leaders that desire to impart, but they're imparting into the wrong people. Hey, Amen. That's a full question, but let me break it down to you. One, Jesus in Luke 2, 52 said, the Bible said, that, you know, Jesus grew in wisdom and stature, favor with God and man. Now, he was all God, but why did he need favor with man? Because one thing about it, God does not break jurisdictional rule. If you notice, Jesus all throughout his all throughout his his earthly ministry, he referred to himself as the Son of Man. Right. Why? Because right. the fact is, I, I I put this in my book tab. The reason why Jesus is called the last or the second Adam, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because Adam was the first Jesus. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. So so because one. He had a miraculous conception as well. He wasn't born of a woman nor a man. He was born straight from Mother Earth and breath of God. So yes, when we became, when we move in our second Adamic nature, we must understand that it's something that's a development stage. Now let me help. I hear you. One, Come on, sir. Come on. You cannot receive nothing on earth unless it's through a man. The Bible says, yes, how can it hear? without a preacher. Right. So that lets you know that your spiritual hearing cannot be amplified unless it's through a preacher. And then how can he preach unless he be sent by God, which is That's right. the word apostolic from or apostolos. So you cannot receive the apostolic movement of God or the Christ movement unless you have a preacher. Everybody <sighs> has been saved, been saved whether they heard Somebody else talk about Jesus, whether an evangelist came to their house, whether they saw it on TV. Some human form introduced you to Christ. Yes, sir. Okay? Even God yes, had to become a man to save man. I'm going to say that again. Yes, Even sir. Say it again, God sir. Even had to become a man to save man. Right, now, right, when right. we look at it, when Jesus is the God man, where we get the word theoanthropos. Theo yes, God, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anthropos, man. So we got to understand that you need 100% God and you need 100% man. The scripture tells us this. Paul broke it down to his spiritual children. Imitate me, a man, as I imitate Christ. Uh, the problem with people is you try to imitate Christ before you imitate your Paul. Sir, come on. You are come breaking on. protocol. And that's the reason why we get all these people with this being in the second heaven or when I had a dream. Guess what? <laughs> Just because you had a prophetic dream don't make you a prophet. That's Guess right. What? That's right. Nebuchadnezzar never had a prophetic dream and he was a wicked king. Pharaoh had a prophetic dream and he was a wicked king. Right, so just because right. you have a prophetic dream, you still let me tell you something. Yeah, the Holy Spirit teach you all day, but guess what? Who takes your homework? That's right. And that's Pharaoh, good. That's the good. Bible That's good. is to equip yeah. the saints for the work of ministry. 
So mm -hmm. you don't equip yourself the fivefold does. Yeah. So yeah. why? To to put us into the unity of the faith, to the full measure and stature, and to a perfect man. So you do not perfect yourself. The fivefold perfects you. So even though the Holy Spirit teach you all things, he uses the fivefold to equip us or to perfect us for the work of ministry. Absolutely. So we can come into the unification of the faith. So we can all be on one accord in the doctrine of the faith. So a lot of people, they, 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 they understand that, you know, the Holy Ghost teach you all things and they use it as an excuse to exempt man. But you cannot exempt man. Paul said, imitate me a man first as I imitate Christ. And the problem is, some of y'all never even heard God's voice. Some of y'all never even saw Christ. Yeah, so yeah, you need yeah. someone that has experience in hearing Christ's voice and who have been there, even in the Old Testament. Let's go even to the Old Testament. We see what yes, the Israel yes, wanted to hear themselves. To what God told them there to consecrate themselves. Don't sleep with your wives. Wash your clothes. Do this. And when they finally heard God, they couldn't even handle what he was saying. So they were like, no, you know what? Let Moses here for us now. So even there's breaking systems even in the body of Christ. You know, we see this with Miriam and, uh, and, and um, Aaron. You know, uh, God rebuked them and said, look, other prophets, I speak to them in dreams and visions, but not my boy Moses. But right, I speak right, to him right. face to face. You are yeah. not on the same level with Moses. Then in scripture we see what he told Joshua. It was the Joshua dispensation. He said, now I'm going to be with you just like I was with my servant Moses. Mm -hmm. So this let me know that all the while Joshua was serving Moses, God wasn't with Joshua. Right. He was with Moses. Yes, sir. He yes, wasn't sir. with Joshua. He wasn't mm -hmm. even with the children of Israel because the pillar, the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night disappeared when Moses disappeared. Ah, uh, sir. Sir, so it wasn't sir. following the children of Israel, it was following Moses. That's good, that's good. So, a that's lot good. of people don't understand that when he told Joshua, I'm going to be with you, just like I was with my servant Moses, indicated to me, So, Lord, all this while you wasn't with me? No, I was with Moses, and you only living off of his grace. But now I'm going to be with you like I was with him. So, a lot of people don't understand, even if you have a a relationship with God personally, you got to find out who's your Paul of your generation. Right. Who's, of your region, right. who's the Moses of your region. So even if you do hear the Holy Ghost, you miss it. So who's there to check your homework to make sure? The Bible just said, let two or three, uh, you know, let two or three prophets prophesy, but let one speak and let the others keep silent. Why? So they all may learn and they all may be comforted. So these are all prophets. Why I got to shut up and listen to the next man and learn from him? Because the spirit of the prophet is subject or submitted subject to the prophet. So no matter, even if you have a prophetic call, you still need to submit to another prophet, even if you're a prophet. If you're an apostle, you need to be under the apostles. That's right. You know, even James was head of the apostles. Mm -hmm. So there's still ranking systems in the body of Christ. And awesome. so a lot of people don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. So even though you're in the body of Christ, you may be a toe. But that don't mean that you're in the faith section. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know That's saying? good. So That's we good. all need accountability. I mean, we see this with Moses. He had accountability. Uh, we mm -hmm. see this with Abraham. He had accountability. You know what I'm saying? So it just you can't run away from it. And really, be honest with you, I tell leaders all the time with the church hurt thing, there's two sides to that coin. I've mm -hmm. seen great leaders start off good, you know, praying for the people, just only focusing on souls. And after a little while, they became monsters because the people turned them into monsters right. because of the mm -hmm. pressures of the church. So I would tell these mm -hmm. pastors, don't give access to those who dishonor. No mm -hmm. honor, no access. This is Put good. This is good. You cannot equalize people in the body of Christ. You got to know who's your 70, you got to know who's your 12, and you got to know who's your 3 out there 12, and then you got to know who's your 1. So you got to decipher who's your disciples, who's your John, who's your denying Peter, who's your, you know, who's your doubting Thomas, who's your questioning Philip, 
Philip, you've been right. with me all the time. You asking me to show you the Father? Who's your Judas? And who's your beloved John? You got to know that there's two sides of church hurt. You know what I'm saying? So 90% of the time, it don't always be the leader. The people right, are giving right. them the, uh, the, the, the leader a lot of problems. So I don't yeah. care. You know, a lot of people like to talk about leaders. I pray for leaders. The Bible even speaks about us praying for our leaders. Right, you right, know, But we right. pray on the leader. You know, we wait for him to make a mistake. We we want him to fall. Right, you know? right. So I don't deal with people that don't honor me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I told you, like, when I get on here, I'm not going to prophesy over some of these people. Because yeah, yeah, some yeah. of them, they want, they want, they want presence without the person. They want to honor That's the powerful. person, but not the person. And I'm going to give you biblical mm -hmm. reference. Jesus said, many were saying that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we cast out devils in your name? Didn't we do signs and wonders yeah, in your name? Didn't we yeah, do yeah. They, they operated in his presence through the Holy Ghost. But he said, get away from me. I never knew you personally. You workers of iniquity. Because if you knew me personally, you wouldn't have did what you did. You worked that iniquity. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people operate in the presence of God, but they don't operate out of the person. That's why the Bible didn't say, you know, seek my presence. He said, seek my face. Right. Mm. Mm. Seek my mm. face. Because if you seek in my face, that means we're having a conversation. You can see how I feel about you. Mm. But a lot of us, we seek his hand. We seek the presence. You seek the bark, but you don't seek the dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, you yeah. want the bark, but you don't want the you don't want the dog himself. So that's mm -hmm. the problem with most people. You know, because they know if they seek the person, then their personality must change. That's true. That's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's so that's why a lot of people miss it. You know, we have to mm -hmm. seek the principle to access the prince of the principle. Right, 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 right. I, I think what you're saying is so powerful. That, yeah. So that's the reason why most people they'll move in the spirit a little bit and then one season they dry. Because some fact they didn't know him as the right. individual. Right. They just right. Knew of him and what right. he can do for them. So a lot of people come to me and want the gift, but they don't want the relationship. Mm. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. In That's order, good. Yes, I That's can, good. Geez, yes, sir. You don't want relationship. You know, you just want ritual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want ritual, mm -hmm. you want results, but you don't want relationship. You see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why I feed everybody differently. Even within my own camp. Mm -hmm. It's about relationship. It's an inheritance thing. It's about relationship. Yeah, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. It's about coming mm -hmm. And the problem is, this is the problem with most people. This is the problem with most people, and I'm going to let you ask you the next question. The problem with most people is this. Um, nah, you know what? No, go, go, go to the next question. I'm, 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 <laughs> you are free to flow. You are free to flow. You are free amen. to release that. You want to release it. Amen, amen. Well, the thing is, I, I, I just wanted to say there's a lot of people they um they they want from you, but they're not willing to get to know who you are so they can inherit what you have instead of just take what you have. They you can't trace you can't trace their genealogy of their anointing. Because they got so many spiritual fathers, they got 19 spiritual fathers, 15 spiritual mothers, and you don't know who begot them. Right, right, right. So how can I know that your anointing is authentic if I can't trace your lineage? Mm. I can't trace your spiritual lineage. Who begot you? Yeah. Everybody yeah. about to say, know those who labor among you. In in the in the in the Jude in the Judaism in in Judaism, before you was ordained as a priest or a prophet or anything, they would trace your bloodline. That's right, sir. That's right. To see That's right. Who you were. Or who your family members were, so they can trace the art, the art, the uh, the the the, uh, the art, authenticity of your anointing. They yeah, want to I got you. 
who you were. I got you. We see this even in Matthew when it came to the lineage of Jesus. Mm -hmm. How we know you to Christ? I had to trace your bloodline, mm -hmm. your spiritual bloodline. So a lot of people, they're renegades in the spirit, so you can't really trace who they are. I don't care if you're right. anointed. If I can't trace your bloodline, I can't validate you as a genuine prophet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or a genuine apostle. You know, who, who commissioned you? And I say who gave you some papers. But who commissioned you in the who spirit? Commissioned you, who sent you out? Yeah, yeah. That that's yeah, actually talking. Even to add on to what you just said there, uh, if we were to look in Numbers, uh, just real quickly, I'll share this. Even in the book of Numbers, I want to say it's around the first or second chapter. Uh, in those days, they wouldn't even uh, pull men to war to go fight Come on. on behalf of the tribe until they could Come validate on. their lineage. And and, on, and, and and so, so I mean, let's just kind of come out of ministry for a second. Let's just talk about spiritual warfare. A lot of people that swear, you know, they have a mantle for spiritual warfare. They can pull things down. They can cast out spirits. Uh, but your lineage has to be traceable. It has to be traceable. Yes. And the only way that your lineage can be traceable is if your, sincer your sincerity is traceable. Yes. Because a lot of people are pursuing, but everybody doesn't have the sincerity in their pursuit. And Come so, on, uh, so I, I think everything that you've been saying like has been so for this season. Because I, I prophet, I can't. Golly, we got to get into the about the glory gathering. But real quickly, I just I have never before sent such a great burden from the Lord as I have in this particular season. There's something specific about the month of March and moving forward for people that that have been seeking, and it's almost like you can sense something is getting ready to happen. You can sense something is yes. releasing. You know, I uh, yeah. uh, even even this week, I think tonight, Prophet Morris is even uh, a pivot month, uh, or I'm sorry, a pivot day for us because um, on Sunday I ministered at the church about the power of emergence, and we the Lord had me reference the number nine. And nine biblically represents uh, fruition; it represents divine completion; it represents yeah. a finality. And so on Sunday, the Lord spoke to us and told us that on Sunday, as of that day, we were standing in the last chapter of yesterday. And so that there was a transition and a shifting that was coming. And the Lord referenced the number nine, the number nine being the divine completion of finality. And it's very interesting that the normal pregnancy of a woman prophet uh, goes nine months. Um, nine typically months. on the ninth week of a pregnancy, uh, the woman's, uh, uh, what's growing on the inside of her transitions from uh, uh, embryo status into fetus status. Uh, yes. uh, interestingly enough, uh, Jesus died at the ninth hour, and it wasn't until then yes. that he said it is finished, right? Yeah. And so yes. then, uh, but what's even more powerful, Prophet Morris, is literally this week, this week is the ninth week of 2018. Come on. And now. I just, I really so believe in my spirit that, uh, especially those that are watching, we are literally transitioning into another place. And I think uh, it's very important that before we transition, we have to check our agendas in our hearts. And we have Come to know on. how to cancel the motives that do not glorify the Father because we'll find ourselves trying to pursue the right season with the wrong heart. And, and, and um, I, was I was telling some people before, the enemy, the old game that the enemy played of, you know, the devil is trying to stop you from getting here. The enemy's trying to stop you from arriving. He's trying to stop you from succeeding. Prophet, what, what the Lord showed me is that's no longer the agenda of, of Satan. Now, Satan doesn't have yeah. a problem with us arriving. He doesn't have a problem with us being promoted. He doesn't have a problem with yeah. us graduating. What he wants to do is he wants to get us in the right place with the wrong heart. He wants to get Come us on. in the right place or he wants us to arrive yeah. in the right season with the incorrect yeah. voice feeding us. And so I just believe that what you're saying is so key. It is so key and it's so powerful. And I think at the moment we grab this thing and digest it, uh, something as simple as honoring leadership, sir, honoring your mentors, yeah. uh, it, it's, it's really a relevant key for where we're going. Prophet, real quickly, if I can ask you um, uh, just some of the things that you saw um, uh, in the Virginia meeting that you just had. Uh, this powerful, yeah. and if you all are just joining, make sure you all hit that share button. I see several of you yes, are on. Uh, make sure you hit that share button. And let me pause right here. If you want Prophet Sean Morris at your ministry, I do believe you would go to seanmorris.org and request yeah. him to come. Yeah. I guarantee you, you will be blessed as a leader, as a church. And, you know, if you got to get some churches together and do something big in the city, make it happen. But 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 Amen. we want to, I, I so believe in pushing people um, that I know carry the voice of God, the power of God, the presence of God. Uh, more, mm -hmm. more, more importantly, the person of God is what you what you Come mentioned, on. Prophet Morris. Yeah. But um, 
real quickly, what, what are some of the things that you saw in the Virginia meeting, uh, the miracles, the, the signs and wonders? I mean, it was phenomenal things, sir, that you saw in the demonstration of the supernatural. Yes. So what are the things, so yes. some of the things you saw in there? And then I'm going to kind of ask you a question about the Glory Gathering 2018 that's going to happen right okay. here in Decatur at the Impact Center Church. So just tell us a little bit, a little bit about that. Yes. Well, the Virginia meeting, you know, the, the thing that mainly took place was the unification of the people. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, you know, one of the, the main sign and wonder is to make people who have different mindsets to think alike. Right. That's one of the biggest miracles you can ever see. That was one of the first things I saw that really caught my attention. There was unity among the people, amongst the speakers, amongst the leaders. Uh, second miracle mainly was the materializing of money. Uh, people check their accounts when they got there because they already know uh, uh, the different uh, operations that we operate in the miraculous realm. Yes. So they check their bank accounts, you know, for our, you know, want to make sure these miracles are real. So when we pronounce the money miracles in the atmosphere, uh, they went go check again, and money appeared in their accounts that was not there wow. before. Wow. And so, wow. you know, did wow. these, and it, it didn't even happen to the old folks. It happened to the old folk, and it happened to teenagers. Mm -hmm. So when you see teenagers who were yes, skeptics sir. Yes, sir. about mm -hmm. the thing, you know, and they receiving the miracles, or they get, you know, get hit by the power of God, I mean, that's something that you just cannot deny. Uh, we was in South Carolina just a week or two weeks prior from this Virginia meeting. And one of my spiritual daughters, her mother, I walked up to her and I told her, I said, look, I see that you have excess fluid in your body and you have a sickness in your body that needs to be healed. She went the very next day. They took eight pints of lit fluid from her body and wow. found that she had cancer. Wow. So... They went in, did some more tests on the cancer. She called my wife and told her that they found cancer. My wife told her, we don't receive that. She don't have no cancer. Tell them to check it again. So they took three different specialists, and it still was reading that she had cancer. It was high, you know. That she's, she's right there on the line right now, like Yolanda Brown Mag was. So we, you know, we believed God. We knew that it was a done deal. So the last time she checked it, and I'm just giving a short version, they could not, the cancer disappeared. It was destroyed. Within Glory that God. same week. Yes. Within that same yes. week. It yes, was sir. destroyed. Um, We've seen teenagers at the altars weeping before the Lord. Teenagers yes. came there with a yes. rebellious yes. spirit. But the teenagers, 16 year old, wanted to join our school of the supernatural. What teenager, you know, want to get involved in ministry <laughs> and join the school of the supernatural? Awesome. The supernatural things of God. Uh, we had we seen the gold dust. We you know altar calls were filled. The, the, the deliverance anointing took place. Uh, um, um, you know, not besides the signs and wonders, prophecies manifesting the very next day or within that same yes. hour. Yes, sir. If yes, sir. I if I told you you had a car outside and you went go look for that car and it wasn't there, call the police because somebody stole your car. That's how accurate and precise the words of God were. God was going in the people's bloodlines, telling them what was going on in their bloodlines, and got them delivered. Whole families getting saved just from one prophecy. God was doing stuff to deliver. We've seen legs grow out. We've seen people who were paralyzing in wheelchairs couldn't move their legs. Their legs begin to move. Uh, uh, you know, uh, they begin to get healed. One man, his foot was several inches shorter than the other, and we watch it as it grew out evenly uh, with the other mm. foot right before the people's eyes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, just different type of miracles, you know, um, uh, cancer healed, uh, uh, lumps dissolved, you know, uh, uh, repentance. Um, you know, we don't see repentance at the altars no more. We don't see people right, uh, giving right. their lives to Christ no more or rededicating them lives their lives over to Christ. So, you know, those type of miracles begin to take place. But for the signs and wonders, it just been happening in abundance. Uh, I, I mean, I can't even think of all the miracles. But these these things right. will take right. place out there uh, in the meeting yeah. uh, for the angel feathers manifesting, 
we were sitting at the table and angel feathers manifesting uh you know gold dust you know um yeah lady got out the yes. wheelchair yes you know right before our eyes you know lady couldn't walk before she got out the wheelchair we we seen a lady in louisiana just recent she had a trach in her throat and she was she was in the wheelchair she jumped up out the wheelchair pulled the trach out of her throat and started walking around the church <sighs> And she said she needed to sure. try to breathe. So you yes. know, she seen crazy yes. miracles. The pastor thought mm. the lady died, but he like, hold on, prophet, this, this lady then died in my church, you know. And she was <laughs> down there on the floor for yes. hours, uh, you know, not hours. She was down there for minutes on the floor, mm. but out the oxygen thing in her throat. And she wheeled her wheelchair out the church, you know. So we seen these miracles manifest in the last several weeks it's just been for a four week period uh between louisiana um louisiana south carolina and virginia you know so we have seen blind eye my wife prayed for somebody deaf ears open right there a girl was uh deaf since she was a little girl since she was a little girl she you had to go to the other side of her face for her to hear you now she's totally healed from deafness wow you know? wow so even the doctors were astonished by what took place. Uh, God was calling out specific diseases in people's body that they didn't even know they had in their body. Went to the doctor, and the doctors confirmed it. Wow. You know, so wow. This, these are the type of miracles. Um, you know, even within the prophetic, it brings a deliverance glory. Uh, uh, healings, miracles, signs, wonders. Uh, the feathers... It, it even happened to the people that's even watching the videos. Glory to God. Glory to God. Manifesting in their house mm -hmm. while they're watching the videos. So it's not even mm -hmm. what's going on in the meeting. It's even what's going on outside of the meeting. Yeah. This is you know, act, you know just, just crazy stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. Going into bloodlines, uh, telling certain situations that have been secrets from the family that the family have kept and getting that mm -hmm. family delivered. You know, from certain situations that nobody yes, can sir. know but God. You know, so God yes, is just doing, you know, just doing the miraculous. Um, mm -hmm. You know, some people seen the glory cloud. A lot of people seen the gold, you know, the gold dust. A lot of people seen, um, and then people just moving in the prophetic. They never moved in the prophetic before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Soon as they come mm -hmm. in in the presence of God, they start operating in that same realm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, details, mm -hmm. calling out names and specifics and things of that nature, mm -hmm. uh, heavy words of knowledge. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's just different type of miracles. Even some people was translated in the spirit. Uh, in, in South Carolina, me with my uh, spiritual daughter, Apostle Joanne, people were translated to the meetings. It took, <laughs> when, when it took them an hour or two to get there, they made it in 30 minutes. Wow. Wow. You know, wow. So, so, so trans, you know, translation or transportation in the yes, spirit. Sir. Like, so yes, sir. So these type of miracles happen. People having visitations from Jesus. Uh, so you know, yeah. it just it's it, it's abundance of glory. My spiritual son, uh, David Taylor, he's in, he's in Houston, and just by him watching and you know uh, writing on his book, the gold dust start coming all in on his book that he writing. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just it's manifestations of God's abundance on uh, that yeah. take place. Many people who have read the book Tap, they start operating in the same miracles that's is in the book. And you know, and I'm gonna believe also that when we get there, then I'm, we're gonna impart for resurrections. Uh, we have several pastors that we are prayed for that operate to operate in the uh, the resurrection of the dead. So we're gonna pray. Yeah, for I received that. I received you know, in yeah. that realm. So mm -hmm. so you can pray for the dead. And I ain't talking about spiritually dead, but them too. But no, physically naturally dead. dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, I, and you know, because a lot of people Prophet. are claiming resurrections and it, it, it'd be people in comas. I'm talking about flatline dead. Right, right, flat right, line right. Dead I, I want by I, the doctors. I want to I want to just stuff. tell you, Prophet. How 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 on point you are right now. If y'all are watching and share this, visit SeanMorris.org. Uh, I want to tell you how how accurate you are right now. I never told you this, but a couple of months back, I had a dream 
in my dream, Prophet Morris, I, I was in a funeral home, but it was, it was kind of weird. It was a funeral home, but then there was a back where they were keeping the body in like a cooling board area, you know, and it was just laying there. And I had a dream that the Lord used me to walk into this, to this, to this sector and raise this person from the dead. And they came back to life. I, and I shared that with only a few people. Come glory on, Glory to God. Come glory on, Glory to God. So, ooh, glory to God. So for you to even go into that vein, let's mean <laughs> that uh, uh, the, the glory gathering is literally going to be a divine appointment. Uh, yes. and, and I'd never share that with you. I, 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 I didn't. No, you but haven't. for you to even go in that vein, that lets me know, number one, I wasn't crazy for dreaming that dream, number one. Uh, but number two, it is the timing of God. And this is the next phase, the next dimension of ministry. Uh, that and, and signs and wonders, the demonstration of the spirit that God has. So, so I, I, I'm so excited. What, what is it that you think, Prophet, or what is it? I should say this. What is it that you discern? What is it that you feel in your spirit that we can expect um, from the glory gathering? Because the guys, if you're just now watching, we're talking about the man of God who, I, I mean, it's in his book. You can go on YouTube and find his testimony when he was on Sid Roth and Supernatural about how uh, he had gone on a three day fast. And, and, you know, you know, he, he had, he was laying on the floor before the Lord, his wife, prophetess Torah uh, Morris walked in and she looked and she was like, what have you done? And he looked up, he looked up and there was just smoke in the, in his whole entire house, the glory cloud in there. And when he stood up and waved yeah. his hands like this, said, what do you mean? The power of God threw her backwards into her, into the sofa. And from yeah. there, they started seeing the demonstration of the spirit. The, the prophet Morris has seen oil dripping from his ceilings in his house. I don't think y'all understand yeah. what we're talking about here. He, he's seen oil dripping yeah. from his house. He's seen uh, um, uh, people being raised from the dead. He's seen uh, even he would have glory meetings in his home, and people would come in, and tumors would fall off their bodies. And they would, am I lying about it, Prophet Morris? They would have to sweep it up yeah. off the floor. Like, like th these are just the amazing demonstration of the spirit that we've seen. So I'm urging yeah. you all to make sure you mark your calendars, sure March 17th out. through the 18th, Saturday and Sunday, uh, come out to the Glory Gathering 2018 to be held right here in the great city of Decatur, Georgia, East Atlanta, at the Impact Center Church, 3011 Rainbow Drive, Suite E. Uh, you, we also have the flyer for the event up on our website, theimpactcenterchurch.com, yes. theimpactcenterchurch.com. You can go to our church Facebook page at The Impact Center Church. You can find it on there. We're sharing this. We're promoting it. Uh, you know, I, I'm yeah. kind of wondering in my mind, Prophet, if we're going to have to switch venues at the last minute because we're already getting, I believe, a tremendous response uh, with the people Amen. that are coming out. But with that being said, Prophet Morris, what are what are what is it that you feel? What is it that you sense in your spirit that we can expect God for? What is it that we can look for to happen? What is it that you sense uh, God is up to concerning the Glory Gathering 2018 at the Impact Center Church? Well, mainly, I'm. I'm coming there not just to demonstrate the power of God that you already, you guys have, but what I'm really there to impart and to enhance was already there. Glory to God. Speed is what's going to take place when we're there. Things going to happen quickly, quickly than it did before. Uh, we're going to bend time and ask God Glory. to bend time to move from Krinos to Kairos. Yes, and yes. so you can walk in the realm of what it's going to take 10 years to do. You would do it in 10 months or maybe 10 days. So I believe that people will experience the realm of speed, quick prophecies, uh, uh, quick healings, quick miracles, quick signs and wonders. Uh, things will begin to manifest in their lives, even supernatural financial provision. Uh, we on, miss that you. a lot lately mm -hmm. to where they will accelerate beyond what they ever experienced before in their lives. And we see this yeah. all the time. We leave places and churches begin to explode financially. Uh, mm -hmm. So so this is what I believe is going to take place when we get there. I know accurate prophecy is going to uh, take place. But the main thing is the, the, the time factor will be removed and the Glory realm of God. and acceleration is going to take place. So that's what I've been uh, talking to the Lord about mostly, that everything happened quickly, a quick move. So this is what took place in Virginia. Things were taking place quickly. Uh, uh, so we say that something took place, uh, cancer removed, or we see this and that. It, it, within days or within hours, it took place. Money materialized within hours. Prophecies came to pass the very next day. So the realm of speed 
is what's going to take place in the Amen. gathering. And I believe that people Amen. are going to be imparted into. My main thing is really to impart it to you and your spouse. I'm there for the people, but I'm really there for y'all. And you, so y'all can keep the that realm flowing. Uh, because yes, again, I, I'm not their shepherd. So I don't want it to come from my loins. So my job is to impart into you and you impart into your people. Yes. Sir. So yes, this sir. is what's gonna take place at the glory gathering. Um and, and, and the realm of speed. People don't understand. Time ain't on your side. Right. And I'm teaching about the realm of uh, about, about the time factor. So I will teach you how to redeem the time. Mm -hmm. Everything has been lost in speed and then everything to accelerate like it never did before. So God is going to definitely do that through you, do your spouse, mm -hmm. and we're going to see that manifest in Georgia. Also, Fine. those who believe for instant weight loss, that will manifest. Uh, yeah. We believe in that things will materialize uh, lumps dissolve. People who have cancer will be healed. People who have any type of disease, lupus, any type of, uh, of the, I know sicknesses will not be able to stand. I believe those who have uh, bones, uh, metal in their bodies will be uh, dissolved and turned into bone. Glory to God. Metal in their body and they begin to turn into bone. My wife has that anointing to where when she pray for people for metal rods, they disappear and turn into bone. So all these mm, things are going to take mm, 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 in Georgia. You know, so, and then plus my church of sons and daughters, they will be assisting me as well. They will be there and they will help also operate. So you're going to get a a whole a whole field of prophets and apostles coming, helping uh, uh, this this meeting. So you get the whole SMI team. Amen. Amen. So they will be there as well. Uh, and I believe that the 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 residue of heaven is going to rest in that place. Glory to I God. I really believe Glory to God. When we leave, there's going to be an abundance of, of his presence to so where people are going to walk in there and repent and they don't even know why. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, happened in, yeah, it's yeah. pretty dear, Yolanda. It happened in uh, South Carolina. And so that's, that's what's going to take place. The realm of speed, a acceleration in the glory, and the time factor will be removed. And you will redeem Amen. the time. Amen. 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 So that's Amen. the main thing I'm seeing. And a lot of people need it. We'll see marriages restored. Uh, teenagers who were rebellious now are listening to their parents. Uh, teenagers on fire for God. You know, one day my teenage, they don't fake it. And they think you fake. Right. Yeah. You know, they looking for fake. You know. So well, say, they, don't, they don't do courtesy falls, Prophet Morris. They don't do no courtesy falls. <laughs> they don't do no courtesy drops. Like, man, yeah. they'll laugh at you, like, man, that man pushed me down, you know? Right, so, right. Uh, I, be <laughs> I believe it's going to be very phenomenal, and I believe that apostolic and prophetic grace is going to hit that church uh, because that's the foundation of the church. It's built upon the apostles and prophets and Jesus being the chief cornerstone. So I believe that that also is going to resonate in that place to where there's an apostolic and prophetic glory that's going to rest mm -hmm. there. Uh, so I would advise y'all come. If you want to go to another level in the prophetic, you want to go to another level in the apostolic, if you want to see signs, wonders, and miracles, you need to be in that place. Yes, yes. You need to come. Yes. We're going to lay hands on you, and you're going to move in the glory realm like never before. We have prayed for people. Uh, yeah, people who have wanted children, who who went to the IVF doctors, could not uh, get pregnant. We have seen a lady who had a hysterectomy and got pregnant and had a baby. Wow. We'll wait, 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 what happened, prophet? She had a hysterectomy and she still got pregnant. She still got pregnant and had a baby. You know, see, if you wow. had their tubes tied and still had baby, they too got untied and they end up having uh, children. You know, see, people could not get pregnant. The doctors told them they would never get, be able to get pregnant. Matter of fact, she's on here right now and she has a two year old daughter right now. Uh, her Jeez. husband is on the line right there. My wife prayed for her, and she felt something shifting in her womb. And boom, my wife prophesied, saying, in a couple of months, she will be pregnant. She got pregnant that December. She have a baby to this day. So, you know, so you know, God. That's amazing. That, that, that's that's where we get into the, um, prophet, the, the, the creative miracles. You know, yeah, uh, it, it's, it's when science cannot help. 
And so it takes it takes God the glory realm to make it happen. I, when you when you were talking about that, it jogged my memory back to a married couple that we were. My wife and I were friends with a couple of years back. Um, her name was Antoinette, and she uh, she they, they had been trying to conceive for a long time, and and it just wasn't working. So finally, she she became pregnant. She went to the doctor, uh, Prophet Moore, so they could do the ultrasound. Right. Yeah. Well, when they do the, when they do the ultrasound. They saw the sack in her womb, but the baby wasn't in there. And so they told her, they said, well, we believe what happened. And we see this happen before where, um, it, you know, I forget what kind of pregnancy they call it, but it's where the sack is there. The pregnancy hormones are running through the body, but there is no there's no embryo. There's no baby. Right. There's no fetus in that, in that sack. And so she called my wife and I in a private room and her and her husband told us what was going on. And I remember we, we touched and agreed with them. We prayed for them. And, and I promise you, they went back to the doctor and all of a sudden that baby was sitting in the sack. And I think that Come baby on, now is probably four or five years old, you know. And so, uh, so, 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 it's you know, I, I get excited when I when I when I hear people talking about these things. But and what I'm loving about what you're saying is, is you're basically saying that the signs and the wonders and the miracles they're not limited to just the body functioning the way it's supposed to or limbs growing out. But literally, when you see people whose lives were going one way, and through the glory they changed their whole entire life, like with the rebellious teenagers, yeah. and, you know, yeah. marriages. So like we can't we can't limit neither can we label the glory we have to just flow with it release it and demonstrate it and it can go in several yeah. different veins and I love what you were saying yeah. about that yes well see the thing is is a lot of times the glory even manifests stronger once we leave because God want to make uh -huh. sure He get the credit for it. so it's right. not just about man's performance in front of people. But even when yeah, he leaves, yeah. what does take place afterward? The Bible says that he confirms the word with signs following. So there signs should be a sign yes. following after the word is being released. I don't believe it. I remember the Holy Ghost told me a long time, he said, Sean, if there's no sign, then they wasn't assigned. He told me a long time, wow. he said, Sean, if there's no sign, then they were not assigned. You know, so a lot of people they had they have a word, but there's no sign following the word. There's no demonstration mm. after the word. That's being good. Released. So That's they good. Have a word. People be like, "Do you have a word?" People say, "Oh, you have a word." I'm like, "No, I have a sign." <laughs> Do you have a Ooh, word? Yeah, yes, sir. Word, I also have a sign. Yes, sir. Follow that word. So that's what we need. That's what we need. I don't just need a word. I need a demonstration. That's why I tell even my people when it comes to the prophetic, don't just need a prophetic word. Need a prophetic manifestation. Because me prophesying, that didn't show you how anointed I am, but that don't help you in one eye older. Wow. You wow. know? So wow. you need a manifestation of the prophetic, not just the prophetic. Mm -hmm. There needs to be something following after I didn't spoke to you. You need to see change. Uh, marriage need to line up. A deliverance take place. You, you forgive your family members. God will always point out what you need. And that's another thing. With the prophetic, there must be an instruction. God don't reveal if he's not trying to redeem. Ooh. He oh. So he can redeem. So he reveal it so he can heal it. So if God that's calling awesome. out this and calling out that, he's giving you the specifics to let you know that either you're still dealing with this situation, you haven't forgiven this specific person, or this is a bloodline curse that needs to be removed from your life. So this is the reason why God gives words of knowledge and gives prophecy. It's not to make man look good, but it's for you to catch what man is saying and then follow the instruction afterwards. That's awesome. That's, That's the awesome. Of God. That's what God needs. That's what God Good wants God. us to catch. So once we understand that, we can walk in the demonstration of the manifestation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then our life will do a transformation. That's what right, transformation right. takes place. Because right, if, I, right, if, right. if I come there and I don't change your mindset, I did you no justice. Uh, uh, I, just gave wow. you, I just gave you a show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I just gave you a show. I just showed you what God can do, but I'm not no circus monkey. Mm -hmm. I want you to learn. That's right. I want to preach right. you. I want to preach to you. I want to teach you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when yeah, I leave, yeah. you don't have to co-depend on me, but you can take what I, the principles that I've given you and access that realm. Mm -hmm. 
the more I give it away, the more he give it to me. Right, right. See, right. that's what true generals and majors of the faith does. Because if people are not operating in the grace that you have released, then you are not a leader. Wow, wow. Because wow. who can say that after I came in counter with you, I started operating in X, Y, and Z. Right, 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 right. So that's the difference between experiencing the glory and becoming a carrier of the glory. Ooh, sir. It's a big difference. So a lot of people can experience the glory. That don't mean they're going to be able to carry it or impart it right. to others. You see what I'm saying? So that makes the big differentiation. So a lot of people think because they're experiencing the glory, oh, I can go out there and release it. No, that's not necessarily true. You have to become a ruler of that realm. Ooh, if I say if you pick over a few, then I make you ruler over much. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are still students and not rulers yet mm -hmm. in a specific realm. So my job is to make you a ruler. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not just that's a ruler, good, but a ruler of the realm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the then ruler of the realm. The ruler of the realm, and that's that's what most people don't they don't do. They just they have their experiences. Just like people that prophesy. They prophesy, but they're not prophets. Right, right, right. You know, they move in the gift, but they don't move in the office or the spirit of the prophet. Mm -hmm. So they make them prophesy, but they don't have the office of the prophet mm -hmm. or the spirit of the prophet. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people, impartation, let me break that down to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Impartation, I'm a part of me I'm releasing to you in measure. Yeah. Every yeah. impartation comes in seed form. That's right. Impartation. So I may lay hands on you. That don't mean you're, Benny, you're going to be Benny Hinn Jr. tomorrow. <laughs> but you will have it in seed form. Right. And then you must respect or still honor yeah. Where that realm came from. For example, Elisha, the student, when he received the mantle, he said, Woo, I'm about to start my own ministry. No. He said, My father, my father. He viewed Elijah, his teacher, as his father. Yeah. Second step, he took the mantle and said, Where is the God of Elijah? He didn't say, Where is our God? He didn't say, Where is my God? He said, right. where's the God of this man of God that I've been serving? So he asked for a double portion of his spirit, not just the Holy Spirit. Right, right, so right. Was, so he received the spirit of that prophet. That's why he operated in similar manifestations of that prophet. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So a yes, lot sir. of people, they don't give reverence where that mantle or that anointing all came from, and that's how it dries up. Wow. Wow. Because they didn't say, where's the God of Elijah? Where's the God of Sean Morris? Where's the God of, you know, uh, uh, Pastor John? Where's the God of, you know, they don't they don't honor where the access came from. Mm -hmm. Or it came from the Holy Ghost, not necessarily. How many people got the Holy Ghost but don't operate in the glory? Mm -hmm. Ooh, sir, sir, sir. So it came sir. From the Holy Ghost, everybody operated in it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> there are specific people that he have given specific mantles to to release to a generation. So even though you may have the Holy Spirit, they don't mean you have the spirit of the prophet. John right. the Baptist right. had the spirit of Elijah. Now, when he was a baby. He got filled with the Holy Ghost. So he had the Holy Ghost, but he also had the spirit of Elijah. Mm -hmm. So you not only just need the Holy Spirit, but you also need the spirit of the prophet that you're trying to imitate. Mm -hmm. You got to have so it is, it, 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 so is it So it is what you're saying. It is possible for impartation to dry up because you refuse to honor the person that the impartation came from. Is that what you're exactly. telling me? You know, because this generation says, once you have it, you have it, and, and I don't have to submit to you anymore. I got it, and I got it. It's preparing me for my next assignment. Because, you know, this generation is assignment-driven. 
you know, um, and, 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 and not father led. And so, exactly. um, and, and so, so what you're saying is that it's very, it is very possible for impartation to dry up because the person that received the impartation does not honor the person that the impartation came from. Let me see the example. The Bible said this. Honor thy mother and father, and it will go well with you all the days of your life. Mm -hmm. Why your life has something to do with you honoring your mother and father? If a husband does not honor his wife, his prayers will be hindered. So my prayers yeah. are hindered because I refuse to not honor this person? That's the power of honor. So because they're in covenant. So when you come in covenant with a man of God, that's the same way. So if a wife, if a husband's prayers get hindered because he don't honor his wife, what happens if you don't honor your man of God? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to just let that sit right there and marry him. Wow. Yes, sir. So if that happens for a wife, imagine your teacher. Because when Elijah asked for the man, he said, you ask a hard thing. But if you are with me and see me eye to eye, basically, this is how you're going to receive it. For example, Paul said, my God shall supply all your needs. But right. he was talking to a Philippian church filled with the Holy Ghost. Why didn't he say our God? He said, my God, the God of Paul, shall supply all your needs according to the riches and glory. So Paul was letting them know these people was filled with the Holy Ghost. But why did he say my God? Because they didn't have access to the glory realm like he did. My wow. God says upon wow. all means according wow. to the riches in glory by Christ Jesus. But Paul had the access to the glory realm. They didn't. Hmm. Same thing for the sons of Sceva. Now they were Jewish exodus. They were exercise demons. So it's not like it was their first go around when it came to casting out devils. They went and said, we're coming in the name of the God of Paul. And everybody didn't say, Paul, we know. Jesus, we know, but who are you? They had a different access. When Elijah received a mantle from Elijah, the Bible said that the prophets, the sons of the prophets said, now we know. That the spirit of now Elijah we know. Has, now we know. That the spirit of Elijah had came upon Elijah. Now, remember, God had told Elijah to go ordain Elijah. Yeah, yeah. But the other prophets couldn't confirm him until they saw the mantle ah. of the man of God. That's good teaching. So That's good teaching. So unless somebody see me in that person or see you in that specific son or daughter, they don't have it. That's why it's impartation. But let me tell you something. But okay. when you go from impartation to inheritance, then you got it. Oh. So now you're an inheritor yeah. of it. You're stutting like your daddy. You're moving like your daddy. You're acting like your daddy. You're talking like him. You have a similar swagger. I don't want to be like another man. I don't want to be like God. You can't break jurisdiction. <laughs> if that's the case, if that's the case, give away all your children because they look like you. Right, right, right. I'm Ooh. talking about your natural children. Right. Every man mimics after another man. Every man mimics after some form or fashion of another man. Another man paid a price for him to have what he had. It just doubled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus said, the works that I do, you shall do also. Peter had a certain grace of where his shadow healed the sick. And he said all the apostles had that operation. Jesus didn't give the revelation to all the apostles, but he gave it to John. Right. He gave the grace message to Paul. So every apostle had a different operation even though they all was under Christ. So all of them had different type of operation. Okay. okay. So that's why they say that special miracles were brought by the hands of Paul. Why right. they were special? Because they were different from other miracles. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's There's a right. differentiation. 
he had a different kind of miracle that took place. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So everybody don't have the same thing, even though you may have the same Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can't receive from one you disrespect. Dishonor brings disconnect. And we teach our people that. So a lot of people, they be like, well, won't you pray for me for money miracles? I said, go ask your pastor. <laughs> they, be like, they be like, so you're not going to pray for me? I said, uh, no. You don't pay your tithes to me? Mm -hmm. Well, I pay my tithes to my pastor. Well, you need to go ask him for prayer. Mm -hmm. One lady came up to me. She was like, "Prophet, I gave my, I, I gave a big money to Israel, and and I and I sold over here by Kenny Coleman." I said, "Well, you need to go ask them for prayer." Right, 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 you know right. What I'm saying? You cannot, pro you cannot prostitute uh, anointing or want something from anointing that you disrespect. Mm -hmm. So if you in if anybody inbox me or send a prayer request, unless you're sowing into this ground, you're not gonna reap from this harvest. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, mm. Unless I see relentless faith, I'm not assigned to you. I'm not going to give my children bread to the dogs. Wow. Wow. And the word dog wow. means somebody, he wasn't calling later dog. Basically, he was saying, you're not in covenant with me. Because I'm, I'm, I'm assigned to the Lord sheep of the house of Israel. So you're not in covenant with me. You're a Gentile. So I don't have to pray for you. But through your relentless faith in honoring me, this is the reason why I'm going to let you have your miracle. Wow. 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 So if you don't pursue, wow. I don't have to pray for you. Yeah. 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 Jesus did this. This was our Lord to say he led the example. So I don't pass out who don't, I don't release to people who don't pursue. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's, yes, sir. I learn for another day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that that's you, you're saying so much, uh, and, and and I and I just I, I believe I really believe that the people are getting it, um, oh, because yeah. it's so relevant. It's so relevant, um, especially in this timing where you know we're wanting you know uh, prophet these these mantles, uh, uh, the inheritance. Uh, we're thinking it, it it just comes easy, you know, right. and and not understanding number one the process, uh, neither the procedure. That that person went through years right. of being of being processed. I mean, and and so uh, and, and the Lord the Lord told me uh, earlier this week. He said, "Understand the difference between process and emergence. Process normally and always will take years. It will take time. Yes, but emergence can happen overnight. I mean, when you've been processed long enough, God will allow one person, one butler." Or whomever, uh, one person that you have favor with that can literally open up a door for you, bring you to something great. So emergence can happen overnight, but we can't get that twisted with the process. The process normally exactly. takes a long time. And, oh, yeah. uh, and and people like yourself and myself, you know, other leaders and generals that are coming up, you know, they've been processed. And and so a lot of yeah. people look at you and say, wow, I never, where, where did he come from? It seemed like he just came from overnight. Exactly. No, he, he, he didn't come overnight. No, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, he definitely didn't come overnight. Definitely. And, and see, a lot of people don't see that because, again, you know, we're young. Uh, well, I ain't that young. I just, uh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, a half, I'm almost a half a century. But oh, uh, wow. the, the thing is, is a lot of people view you uh, from the lighting of what they think the package should come in. Uh, oh, and that's why a lot of yeah. people miss it. Um, a lot of people get uh, 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 disgruntled because of different styles of preaching or different methods of delivering the message. So a lot of people miss God because of the fact is they're looking at the delivery of the person versus the deliverance of the person. And so that's the reason why they miss it because they're looking at, oh, I want this specific style of preacher. It was in Virginia and they had right. a pastor who had an issue um, because, you know, when you in prophetic mode, you're straightforward. You're direct, you're right. blunt, but you're not. So a lot of people can't handle your forwardness. So he wanted me to be Joel Osteen in a prophetic meeting. That's not what this is for. When I'm in a pastoral mm -hmm. meeting, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Joe. <laughs> you know, but mm -hmm. in, in this meeting, I'm the lion. I'm I'm the lion. I'm not here to be a lamb. So a lot of people don't know how yeah. to transition between the two. Uh, when you're operating power or releasing power, you must transition to the lion. 
not the lamb. So, right. you know, a lot of people right. get caught up into styles or people get offended because you say something that they probably haven't caught yet. So that's the reason why a lot of people miss God, you know, mm -hmm. but if we really truly understand God, we wouldn't get offended if we know something is of the gospel. Right, right, you know, right. We can't refute doctrine. They may have people come on here today like, well, I don't believe what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe this is not for <laughs> Good you. for you. Right. Good yeah. for you. Uh, but we, <laughs> we always make sure we have medical reports, uh, documentation, eyewitnesses accounts, uh, everything to prove the legitimacy of the miracles and of the uh, of the manifestations. So you can't refute that. After a little while, leave them in alone. If if what they're doing is not of God, then it will come to none. But if these guys That's are the still word. moving in the realm of, of God and they're still getting results and it's been many years and they have been proven, you're going to find yourself fighting against God. So, you know, we have seen a lot of naysayers come and go. So I just want to encourage you, don't let the naysayers get to you. They will yes, come and go. Uh, because, you know, I remember when I first started off tapping into the glory round, a lot of people try to discourage me uh, to get out of that realm because it was something that their intellect couldn't wrap. It couldn't wrap around their intellect. Right. They couldn't understand right. it. Right, right. Uh, but you just keep pushing, man of God. You keep pushing, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and, and yes, sir. don't worry about what people say. Let the longevity of your track record speak for itself. Amen. Amen. And God, I receive. And God is, and God is going to definitely be with you and with your ministry. So I just wanted to throw that out there uh, to Holy you. God. Don't don't let the haters because they gonna hate regardless. But you do it if you got. Anytime they hate on Joe Osteen and he he a knife pastor. He <laughs> If Joe Osteen have haters, I know I'm going to have haters. Right, if right, right. If Joe have haters, I mean, who, who's safe? <laughs> you know, who's safe? He dot all his I's and cross all his T's, you know? So um, that's what comes with the territory. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but it's going to be powerful. I urge everybody in the Atlanta area, everybody in the Georgia area, making them calling y'all to come out. Uh, come out. Everybody that's... Uh, uh, um, all my spiritual sons and daughters in the Georgia area. We're also going to be doing some promos every other day into uh, leading up to the meeting in uh, out here on Facebook. Y'all push it. If y'all find anybody in the GA area, tell them to come out. We're going to be in Decatur. That's east of it, uh, Atlanta. Uh, come out. We're going to have fun in the Holy Ghost. Um, my wife going to be there, the demon crush crusher. She's going to be there. All right. You need your devil, get up out of your body. Prophet is, is going to be in the building. And yes, going to knock the devil out of you. Amen. Uh, we're going <laughs> to operate in the glory realm. Uh, if you want to go to another level in the prophetic, my spiritual sons and daughters are going to be there. The Mag Woods, the Owens, the Robertsons, they're going to be there. Uh, uh, Apostle Joanne, I believe she's going to be there. Who else? Elva's going to be there. She's in Georgia. My spiritual daughter, Elva, she's going to be there. So y'all come out. It's going to be off the chain, man. We're going to have fun. Um, and one thing I don't I don't really get along with too many preachers, but I like your spirit, man of God. God but bless you, sir. Some preachers they too religious for me. I ain't, I ain't got <laughs> you know, because they have all this. They try to be all dignified and don't have no power, no anointing. Right, right. But you know, but they let the accolades uh, try to uh, overshadow the lack thereof. Right, uh, right. But right. I, I'm glad that you you walk in excellence, you walk in prestige, and you still have power. Amen. Uh, Amen. That's very ratifying. And you humble. That's very ratifying. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, God so bless you. We bless you, man of God, for even allowing us to come and, and release the word of God over your people. Um, but I know that this is going to be a, a, a covenant relationship, not just a Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And, and I truly I believe you, allow us to be in covenant together, whatever form or fashion he may have it to be. Amen. Amen. Um, I believe that, but I, but I know that something big is going to take place, and yes, uh, the ministry that you have will never be the same. The I receive that. In the portion, yes, sir, yes, sir. So I Amen. urge y'all to come out. Uh, the flyers going to be on our walls, going to be on all our pages. I'm going to be making another video when I come back to Houston about this meeting. So y'all need to come out. Um, GA, stand up, everybody in the Georgia area, come out. Um, don't miss it. Come and support because you never know what might take place 
that have changed right. your life. Uh, we have seen people leave the meetings, and I mean, the glory, be, glory of God begin to explode in their lives, and they just yeah. never be the same, man. It just never be the same. So I'm urging everybody to come out, bring your family, bring your friends, bring the cripple, bring the lame, bring the blind, uh, the deaf, please. Bring those who really need uh, healing from the Lord. Amen. Uh, those who need a miracle, those who need deliverance, bring... We have seen husbands that have not even think about God beating on their wives and this and that and break at the altars. You know, change hearts, change minds. I'm talking about thugs. I'm talking about straight prisoners. Wow. Get out of jail, wow. breaking at the altars, weeping and crying before the Lord. That's the power. Wow. Of God. It's not wow. just about prophecy. Wow. It's not just always about you know just the signs and wonders, but. All the lives being transformed, all the hearts right, being transformed, right, right. all the mindsets being transformed. Do people want to be discipled? Anytime the people decide they want to be discipled, that's when you know it's God. It's not nobody forcing Amen. a spiritual father over them or anything like that. When they want to, they're intrigued about coming to the Lord, coming to your meetings, coming to your schools, coming to join your churches. That's when you know it's God because the power of Christ compels them to come. If he be yes, lifted sir. up, he'll draw all men unto himself. So that's yes, what sir. we want to see, and that's what we're going to see. Now, um, Pastor, I'd like to ask you well, a question. Yes, sir. What do you believe, or what are you expecting to take place, or what would you like to see for that Pacific region um, where you are? Um, and, and, and I missed the last part because your, your phone kind of went out for a second, Prophet. So I'm just going to ask you to re yeah. re uh, restate what, what, that question. What, what are you believing to take? Yeah, what are you believing to take place in that region um, when we come there? What are you expecting, or what are you looking for to take place in that region? I will say this: I believe that anytime God gets ready, or and I don't like to say the word "gets ready," anytime God has prepared to do something new in a region, he always begins with a sound. And yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm believing that there's going to be a sound that's going to be released in this glory gathering, uh, this in the, in the next coming weeks, that is going to send a sound out into the atmosphere. Come that's, on, going to, that's, going to, that's going to compel leaders, people, believers to shift. Uh, and it, I, think, I think something that you said, the greatest, one of the greatest miracles that you saw in Virginia, people coming together. Right. Uh, and, and I think, I think uh, if we are really going to demonstrate this word and demonstrate the, the realm of the spirit, we have to get used to doing it together and not yeah. trying to be the next big whatever. And so if you're asking me, I, I, I'm number one, I'm looking for a sound and I'm believing for a sound to go out into the region that is going, uh, that, that is literally going to compel people to shift and to transition uh, I'm believing uh, for a fragrance, if you will, to go out into the airways that's going to make yeah. people come and see. It's going to increase the seek in people's spirit uh, to move beyond their natural, normal existence and to really pursue the heart of the Father like never before. Uh, I'm believing in people. I'm, I'm believing for people to come into uh, uh, just activation um, uh, uh, of the supernatural, of the knowledge of the person of God, not, not just his power, but the person of God. Uh, I, I really believe, Prophet, that um, even in this glory gathering, I think it's going to shake some foundations. Um, uh, it, there's Amen. something I believe that you're bringing with you and that your sons and daughters, glory to God, they're bringing with them. It's almost like you guys are coming in as a tribe. Uh, you're yeah. coming in as a tribe. Uh, and, and, and I believe that it's going to shake uh, foundations. One of the things that God has been really, really speaking to me heavily on is the power of reformation. And the Lord told me that any time a reformation happens, it always, always challenges the existing formation. If it does not challenge yeah. the existing formation, it is not a reformation. It's just a, it's yeah. a fashion show. But, it, but I believe that you right. guys are literally bringing the, the, the atmospheric glory of reformation with you guys. And I believe that it's going to yeah. challenge existing formations. Uh, and so with this, shifts are going to happen quickly, sh quick transitions, quick recoveries. You know, uh, yeah. I'm really looking for an explosion of the people's awareness 
of the supernatural and not limiting it to uh, what we see legs growing out, limbs growing out, but just a revival happening in homes. Yeah. And, uh, I think that is the most powerful thing that after you have left, after you've gone on to the next place, yes. that people are still writing us and calling us, Definitely. talking about the powerful things that are happening in their homes and their lives because yes. these signs shall follow them that believe. You know what I mean? Come on. And so, uh, and so there's some specific things God told me. I'm looking for tumors to disappear. Glory to God. I'm looking for lumps to disappear. You know, uh, I'm looking for sicknesses to break off of people's bodies, spirits coming out of people. I'm looking for that deliverance. I, I just, I believe all of this. Literally, it's like a one-stop shop. You'll be able to come, get empowered in the word, learn different facets of the person of God through your teaching. And, and, and through that, also uh, experiencing the, the, the supernatural, the glory, uh, become a, a partaker of it. But more importantly, seeing a genuine revival in the homes and in the hearts yeah. and the lives of the people. I, I so believe that. I so believe that. I, I think uh, I think this conference, uh, this gathering rather, I don't even want to call it a conference, this gathering is literally yeah. going to be a pivot point. It's a, it's what what I believe a destiny pivot point. Uh, uh, it's yeah. going to be a turning and a changing of the guards for a lot of people. And uh, so so, and so I, I'm so excited. My spirit is really rumbling. Uh, I, I'm so looking yeah. forward to the manifestations that's going to happen. Uh, I, I believe that there's going to be a lot of powerful praise reports, Prophet Morris. I believe that we will yes. be uh, back on afterwards doing a Facebook Live talking about oh, yeah. just the testimonies that have come up uh, uh, that are going to come out of the people. Um, uh, and, and I believe that it's, it's going to be a, a multi- faceted, a multi-layered type of a manifestation that's going to happen. So in other words, what I mean by that is it won't just happen in the sanctuary, but we will see yes. continuous flows of this momentum, go. like literally glory to God. We're going to be in a flow yes. where uh, we will see these things to follow us and even the residue of it happen weeks, months on down the line so that we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that we have literally been in the power and the presence of God and, and that yeah. we have experienced the person of God. So so I'm so, so excited about just the different things that God is speaking and, and what we're looking for to happen. So so again, again if you all are watching, please be, be make sure you set your calendars March 17th and March 18th. 18th. And March 17th, we're kicking off at 7 p.m. The worship is going to be phenomenal. Uh, intercession is going to be phenomenal. The word of God is going to be phenomenal with the great prophet Sean Morris and all of his sons and daughters that are coming down. I think some I'm even Facebook friends with Apostle Joanne Cunningham. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, I think it's uh, El, uh, El, El, Elva El Ramirez, I think is the name. Yeah. Um, you, you know, so some of you guys I'm already connected with on Facebook and, and just enjoying getting to know you uh, and just getting to, the, to see everybody that's going to come out. So you guys come. More importantly, bring your expectation. You know, uh, for, for the Lord to send somebody like this into our region, uh, to put it on my heart, to bring him in, uh, I really believe that there is, out of this moment that's going to happen in March, glory to God, a momentum, is a perpetual momentum that cannot, yeah. will not be stopped. A lot of times, I don't know about you guys, I've seen where people have gone to, uh, to, to meetings and prophetic services, healing meetings, and I've seen where people have gotten a breakthrough, gotten a healing, and for whatever reason, it just it disappears after you know uh, yeah. uh, uh, some months or years. Like people are coming back saying, "Hey, I, you know, the, the, the prophet prayed for me and he called this out, but I, I thought I was delivered, but the issue is back again." That's not going to be this meeting, not no, at no, all. No, no. This, 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 this what God is, what God has prepackaged for us, guys. I'm telling you, it's going to blow your mind. So I'm, yeah. I'm asking you guys, bring the sick, bring the lame, those yeah. that can't. If you got, if you can't hear deaf ear, blind, bring them, bring them, yes, because bring. the power of God is going to literally invade yes. this yes. gathering. Rebando koshe kabasiya, remamama dekere koshe. I felt the release of that right there. The power of God is going to invade this gathering, and I believe that He is going to, through this moment, through this momentum, He's going to shut the mouth of the lion. He's going to close the mouth of the naysayers. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, these doubting spirits that have been around us are going to break off of us. And people are going to see the real demonstration and the glory of God. The prophetic, I believe, yeah. is going to be pinpoint accurate. The prophetic is literally yes. going to be pinpoint accurate. You will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that, that, that the man of God has heard from God and those that God will be using in the conference. I like the team concept that Prophet Morris is bringing in his sons and daughters. Everybody will be used. 
you know, um, and, and I, I'm just not yeah. one of those pastors where, you know, I bring somebody in and then I just steal the limelight. No, no, no. Uh, we're pushing the whole team and, and we're going to work together yeah. and we're going to we're going to literally see God move signs <laughs> and wonders. God expect Prophet Moore yeah. said this to me about a week ago. Uh, he said, expect the unexpected, expect yeah. the unexpected. Believe God for the most powerful manifestation that you can possibly see. And we also want yeah. to invite you guys to go on a fast with us. Fast with us. Yeah. What, 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 that's important. Go, consider yeah. going on a fast. Whatever the Lord lays on your heart, we are going to be fasting and in prayer for this great manifestation called the Glad Glory Gathering God. 2018 that's going to happen. And guys, this is going to be the pilot. We're going to kick it off this year. Next year, we're going to enhance it. We're bringing him back. So I'm telling you right now, Prophet Morris, you're coming back next year to the Impact Center Church. Uh, but we're bringing him back. We're going to add some people uh, to it, uh, demonstrators. We're going to add them to it, not not just people that have a good word. I, I could really care less about that. I'll be really honest with you. We, we need to say something. <laughs> Right, demonstrating the power, and so we're going to bring in some demonstrators, and we're and, and so we're going to literally turn it into uh, day sessions moving forward. You'll be able to come in, and you'll be taught about the glory realm. You'll be taught about the yeah. supernatural. You'll be taught about the power of God, active impartation, uh, activations, all of these things, and uh, we're just going to see what's in the heart of the Father concerning the glory gathering. Yeah. So this is the first year. We're excited about it. Uh, you know, just we're, we're believing God for an overwhelming response. You know, yeah. uh, we're already considering, you know, uh, the possibility of shifting venues if we have to, to accommodate whoever's coming. Uh, but we're just believing God for an awesome, awesome time, Prophet. So, I, again, oh, I'm yeah. so excited that you're coming. I'm so excited yeah. that uh, um, uh, that your team is coming. Prophetess uh, Tora Morris, we're so excited uh, to, to meet her, you know, and, yeah. and all of your sons and daughters that are coming. Uh, I, I just believe it's going to be awesome. I, I, I you know, I, I I, I can't stress it enough, guys, but if you're coming, yeah. and I hope you are. I hope you are. If you're coming, you're watching this, be there. Uh, yes. Whatever you have in your body, especially if you had a some type of doctor's report in the last couple of months, even the last year, and in your mind, the doctors have said that you're going to be on this medication for the rest of your life, or you, you may stick with this for the rest of your life. I'm, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, come to the glory gathering, because I'm telling you, Prophet Morrison, you can check me if I'm wrong. I believe it's going to be guaranteed manifestation, guaranteed. Oh, yeah, it's healing. guaranteed. That's going to happen. That, that's already done. That's not even a question. Um, <laughs> what? And I'm not saying it in cockiness. I'm saying it's in confidence. We have seen God heal AIDS. I'm talking about wow. full-blown AIDS. Wow. And we have the medical report papers uh, as proof. We have the testimonies of the AIDS patients who were had full blown AIDS, not HIV, but AIDS, and they were dying, and it was in hospice and about to just go, and God healed them completely, and they still heal to this day, several years later. Jesus. So you know, this, and, and some of them even had children. Glory to God. So, so we we know the power of God. We know He's a healer. We've seen this too many times, time and time again. God did the miraculous. So this is something that, you know, we know for sure. Even when we were with Sid Roth in Israel, you know, he watched as I prayed and lumps dissolved off of people's bodies. And he was astonished. And, you know, and he saw that for himself with his own eyes. This wasn't something he heard from somebody. It's something that he saw with his own eyes. Uh, and he's like, you know, we got to get Sean Mars on this show. So your gift will make room for you and bring you in the presence of great men. When God, when 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 yeah. God, you know, people want the real man. Oh, people God. people tired of just church as usual. People want to see God move. They want to see the God right, of the Bible right, do what right. He can do. You know, so Glory this is what we before. And if God can use me, He can use anybody. That's you know, it. That's somebody. it. That's the story of me and my wife's ministry. God took a bunch of nobodies and used them for his glory. You know? So, you know, we didn't grow up in church. We don't have no church etiquette. We don't understand uh, this and that. You know, we understand now, but God took a bunch of nobodies and turned them into yeah. somebody in, for his glory. So I'm saying that to let you know that it doesn't matter if you qualify. Just be available. Yes, 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 yes. If you yes. make yourself available, he'll do the qualification. So if you're hungry enough and you put yourself in the right position around the right people, he will use you mightily. And that's what it is. 
And that go for every person that's listening to the sound of my voice. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. <laughs> Guys, if y'all are watching, you just clap your hands right now and give God glory because yeah. there is going to be a supernatural tsunami wave that is going to break oh, out. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking about unusual manifestation that's going to happen at the Glory Gathering 2018 to be held right here in yeah. uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Decatur to be exact, at the Impact Center Church 3011 Rainbow Drive. Sweet E in Decatur, Georgia. You can find out more information about this. Go to our website, theimpactcenterchurch.com. Click on events, and you will find the, the, the uh, flyer for the Glory Gathering. You can also uh, like our Facebook page, uh, The Impact Center Church. Uh, you'll find the information on there. We're promoting it heavy. Prophet Morris is promoting it heavy. You can go on his Facebook page. As uh, a matter of fact, his profile picture is the flyer. We're going to be we're going to be hitting this really, really hard. We want to see you here. Bring somebody. Get the word out. And matter of fact, uh, if you guys could do us a favor, uh, we have actually listed the Glory Gavin 2018 as a Facebook event. So if you go to uh, 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 the Impacts of the Church's Facebook event, um, and, and you'll find the event on there. I believe Prophet Morris also, uh, they have, uh, the, his ministry team created a Facebook event as well for the Glory Gathering yeah. 2018. So if you go on there, click going. Don't just click interested. Click going. Say, right. I am going. We, we, we want to know. Uh, so click going. And if you, if you click interested, for some of y'all that's watching, I need you to go back tonight and change it to going because you, you need to be there. You really need to be and there. See, is, yeah, uh, and see, what you're saying is true because, see, let me tell you something. We have been to so many meetings. People will leave the meetings all fired up, and then next thing you know, next day on Facebook, we have about 100 people talking about, oh, man, I missed it. Was it this day? I didn't know it was this day. And, oh, I wish I would have came. When next time you coming back? Don't miss your hour of visitation. Don't miss your timing in the Lord. Everything is about timing in the Lord. So don't allow that you miss that hour of visitation and then you have to wait around again to next year or months later before that even take place. Because every time we leave a city, the people be excited because the testimonies come in like crazy about miracles, marriage restorations, this took place, unexpected checks in the mail, this miracle took place. So don't miss your hour of visitation. Just coming yeah, there, yeah. you're gonna receive something, you know. So don't, don't, don't allow the something. enemy to stop you or hinder you. Nothing is more important than you getting closer relationship with God, no matter what's going on in your personal life. Nothing is more important than that. Amen. So I urge everyone to come out That's again. Me. We're gonna be doing some more videos leading up to the meeting. We're gonna be doing yes. some Facebook lives about this, and we're also will be boosting this on social media, uh, Twitter accounts. Y'all share this to your Twitter accounts, the flyer. Share this to your Instagram pages. Please help get the word out. What you do for others, God will do for you. So by you doing, this, Amen. You're helping uh, spread the word, and God will definitely bless you, even just by you sharing this video. Amen. So share this to your mm -hmm. inboxes. Share this Amen. to your groups. Your group pages, share this to your uh, friends. Uh, Facebook tries to block from time to time. So share it in your inboxes. Uh, share it to your different right. groups and get the word out. Yeah, the skeptics need to come too. I want everybody. I want the Pharisees, Sadducees, all y'all come. All of them. Witches, warlocks, y'all come too. Y'all need deliverance as well. Amen. <laughs> we, invite we invite everybody to come out. Everybody need a touch from the Lord. Amen. So we don't exempt nobody. Amen. Amen. Come Amen. out, Amen. bring the youth, bring bring the husband, bring the, the, the wife. Make sure you come out. It's going to be phenomenal. So um, with that being said, I think that's really basically it. Amen. 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 That's all I have. We're, we're going to be doing more Facebook Lives if you're watching tonight, uh, especially yes. uh, I, I'm, I'm going to coordinate with Prophet Morris. Uh, I know we'll, we'll do some more between them, but definitely – the night before or the day before, uh, maybe that Thursday or that Friday, yeah. uh, uh, we're, we're going to jump on Facebook Live and uh, we're, we're going to be talking about uh, even more things that God has probably downloaded in our spirit by then concerning uh, the glory gathering of 2018. So yeah. in all things said and done, make sure you be there. We're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for sitting on the set with us for this whole entire. Yes. Yes. But let me tell you something. One more thing. Look, 
Yes, we're sir. We're not going to be uh, streaming this, so you got to come to the meeting if you want to see what's going on. Because some Amen. of y'all lazy. Amen. And y'all want to stream, so that way y'all won't have to go, <laughs> so that way y'all won't have to come. We ain't sleeping. You need to be there. Ain't no streaming. Amen. 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 Doing none of that. Praise the Lord. Amen. No Facebook. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so basically, this is going to be the, you, you know, this is about as much of Facebook Live as you're going to get. We're not going to Facebook Live the Glory Gap. You exactly. have to be in the house. You got to be there. You got to be there. So, be March 17th, 7 o'clock p.m., March 18th, 12 o'clock p.m. That's Saturday and Sunday. We want to see you at the Impact Center Church. Go on to Facebook, find the event, tell us that you are coming. Click going. Don't click interested. Click going yeah. and let us know you're going to be there. This even helps us to prepare, you know, because I, I, I will be really honest with you. Our sanctuary is not that big. And so, you know, we, we definitely wouldn't want it to be where we got to turn people away at the door. I, I mean, we were talking, Prophet Morris, we said, yeah. man, we got to put chairs on the parking lot and keep the front door open and, and they can just hear what's going on. But but, 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 but by all means, let us know you're coming because we, we want to make sure that we are we are uh, prepared for you. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. You, you stay with us all this time, man. We've been on for over an hour and a half and it's been great. Man, it's been, <laughs> Prophet Morris has dropped some awesome revelation. Uh, I, that I think was for everybody, people, followers, leaders, pastors, uh, prophetic people, whatever. Uh, it, it was a lot of revelation that he shared. The man, the God, Prophet Sean Morris is bringing with him this this uh, demonstrative realm of glory where, uh, and, and look him up, YouTube him. Uh, uh, he's been on Sid Roth. You can find him on Sid Roth. His interview with Sid Roth is Supernatural on the Trinity Broadcasting Network, TBN. Uh, you can go on his website, SeanMorris.org, to learn more about him. He's been all over the place, traveled the nation, the world, and 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 the, the, the miracles and signs and wonders and healing that has come through his ministry has been absolutely phenomenal. So on March 17th and 18th, he and I are going to be joining together, and we are yes. going to see the miraculous enhanced. I love that when he yes. said that. We're going to see it enhanced, uh, uh, yes. the, 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 the realm of speed would be our portion. Yes. I'm just receiving that already, so... God bless you guys. Prophet Morris, did you want to give them a, a goodbye, good night? Yes, sure. Uh, we love y'all. Make sure y'all come out March 17th and 18th. Matter of fact, March the 3rd is my spiritual birthday. This is when I got born again, March the 3rd. So my birthday is going to be this week, March the 3rd. Uh, I'm excited. Matter of fact, tomorrow is my, my spiritual birthday, my rebirth. Uh, 2008, I got saved in 2008, March the 3rd of 2008. So this March is, we're going to be marching uh, forward in the things of the Spirit. So make sure y'all be yeah. there. The videos, the videos that you see on YouTube or you see on TV, they do not do justice compared to the atmosphere being there. Yeah. So make sure you come because you will feel the electricity of the Spirit Glory when God. you're there. Make sure y'all come out, y'all. I'm not saying it just to be promoting, but I'm being real. Uh, even the people in Virginia were like just astonished from the presence of God that was in the place. So make sure y'all come out. We love y'all. We will see you March 17th through the 18th. Make sure you come. If you want to be unlocked into the glory realm, you want to be unlocked in the prophetic, or you want to be unlocked into the deliverance realm, and you want your people to go to another level, you need to yes, be there. Yes. Amen. We will be there in full effect. Amen. Praise God. Man. And that's all really I got to say. Amen. Prophet, thank you so much for sharing your time. We're going to put you back on vacation Bless mode you, Pastor. in we Virginia. Love we, and, love uh, you. we love you, sir. Love your ministry. Respect you. We'll see you soon. Thank you all for watching Facebook Live. Share this video. We love y'all. May God's peace be with you. May his face shine upon you. We're looking for great things to happen in your life. May you come in a good week, good news on this week. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Good night.